welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and we are going to get started with the show today. So I just want to thank everybody for joining in on the show today. If you are joining live on YouTube or if you have called in, um, thank you so much for being here and spending your time with me. If you are watching on WSCS or any of their streaming channels, Rude Rangers TV or any of their streaming channels, any podcast, thank you so much for joining. And you can always join us live Monday or Wednesday at noon central um, on YouTube or uh, on the call-in number, which is Again, 845-277-9131. Not sure if I said that yet or not. Anyway, I want to say hi to my brother, Stevie. Stevie, I hope you're having a great day today. Um, I think that's everything. I think that's everything I need to say. If, if not, throughout the show, I will add things in. Okay, so I'm going to be taking callers and answering questions in the chat. When I say your area code, please tell me where you're calling, your first name, and where you're calling from. If you have a question, please have an exact question. And if you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, please give me the name, the first name of your loved one and the relationship to them and any question or um, connection you would want with your loved one on the other side. Okie dokie. Hey, uh, Mimi. Hi, Fawn. Hi, Mo. Thank you all so much for being with me. I'm going to go to the very first caller, who is 210. Who? 210. What's your name? Where are you calling Hello. from? Hi. This is, this is Carol from Texas. Hey, Carol. How can I help you today? It's Pearl. Pearl. P -E -R -L. Oh, thank you so much for correcting me. <laughs> hey, Pearl. How are I'm so sorry about that. Um, I'm very, very sorry. How can I help you today? <laughs> oh, it's all good. Sometimes you can't hear very well over the phone. Um, so I was calling to a, first to tell you Happy New Year. <laughs> and then secondly, I'd like to connect with my, um, my mother-in-law, Connie, if possible. Yeah. Okay. And she has a message for me. Okay. So thank you so much and happy new year to you also. And yes. Okay. There's two women here that are a little bit more mature and one of them had at one point in their life, their hair was like an auburn or I don't know what color that is. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, um, they're both mature, though. So I feel like it could be your mother-in-law and mother or grandmother or whomever it is. But they're both here. So the first thing that they want to say to you is, um, what? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> oh, I don't want to start the show like this. Um one of them is saying, you're not doing that right. You're not, I think this was just their key phrase. It's not about you. They're just letting you know who they are. But they're like, you're not doing that right. Here, just let me do it. So I don't know. <laughs> I seriously don't know. I sound like, if... my, I sound like my mother. Okay, thank you. She and she's the one that's the closest to me. She's right here where the other the other woman is is um over to my left. So um so she, that's her way of letting you know that she's here and it's her and um yeah, that is I I think that's super cute. Um so if Connie has a message for you, she's going to say everything's going to be okay. Is something going on with you? Um, here's the way I'm going to say this to you, and then I'll ask my question. <clears throat> Things are not as they appear, um, but everything's going to be okay. So if something looks like it's going to have 
uh, one outcome, it might have a different outcome. It, or if something looks like it's not going in the right direction or the direction you want it to go to, don't worry. It, it's going to have a very good, it, it's going to um, almost, I don't know if turnaround is the right word, but it's going to, <clears throat> it's going to turn out, turn out is the way she's saying it. So if there's something that looks like it's not going very well, or you think it's not on the right track, I just keep getting from Connie, don't worry. It's all going to turn out and it's going to turn out better than you thought it would. Okay. Um, would she be the type of person? And I'm, I'm going to tell you, I just keep hearing what a shyster. And I don't know if this is, this could be from your mom again. <laughs> what a shyster. <laughs> um, and I feel like I just want to crack up because it's not meant in a malicious way. It's almost meant in a, um, like when we say about somebody, what a gossip, you know, it, she's just so matter of fact with her words. Your, your mom is, um, she's, but, she's always, she was always matter, very direct, very direct, very matter of fact, very funny. Um, but the, just she called it like she saw it. So yeah, you're right on track with her. What does she have to say to me? <laughs> She's just making that statement of That's my mama. What a shyster! What a shyster! So if there's somebody in your life and you feel like they might not be being honest, or they may not be be giving you the whole story, or something's going on in your life where you're just not getting the um the information correctly, she's letting you know that you are right about that. Like if you have a feeling you're either A, not getting the whole story or somebody's not being honest with you or they might be mm -hmm. in it some case trying to rip you off or something, she's confirming that by saying, what a shyster. Um, and she is saying... Um, Listen to your intuition and follow your gut. You're going to get the information you're looking for. And you're going to find that answer that you need to make the decision and or choice that you need to make. Um, so, yes, that is what she is saying. And those are the messages that they have for you. And I hope that's I hope that's helpful for you. I do want to tell you they both are saying that they're working together to get you the answer and results that you want and need. Is this, is this person is this person my husband? Well, I'm going to tell you what your mom said because your mother-in-law is remaining silent. <laughs> I, I feel like it could be, but she's saying, you know, exactly who your mom is. Saying. She just cracks me up the way she talks. She like has this, she just yeah. like flipped her head to the side and goes, you know, exactly who we're talking about. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Jeez Louise, pass the peas. <laughs> oh my goodness. She is very direct. <laughs> Whomever this person is, you already have this feeling or this knowing with this person. You already have this understanding. Um, this isn't news to you. Whoever they're talking about, this isn't news to you. You already are very well aware of this. But again, your mother-in-law is saying it's going to turn out good. It's going to turn out better than you thought. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, Are you, is, I, you know what? I, I just feel like whatever you're going through right now, whatever actions you're taking or thinking of taking, it's going to come out better than you thought 
it would. It's going to be better than you anticipated. Does that make sense to you, love? Kind of. I, I, I kind of know. Kind of. Kind of. That's all I can say. Okay. And I don't well, know. If there are a couple areas that it could, it could be talking about, but I'm, I'm not really, um, it's not really totally clear, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Okay. I feel like this has, I'm going to just tell you this. This has to do with a person and a problem you're trying to resolve. But keep in mind that whatever it is, it's going to come out better than you feel like it will. Okay, love? Okay. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Oh, no. Thank you so much. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing new year, love. I am going to go to the next caller, who is 814. 814. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Amy, and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. And my question is, I start a new job in on the 16th, and my lease time all that transfer, and I didn't know if they would give me a hard time. My husband has a tournament on January 27th. Do you see that being an issue with me getting off? Um, <clears throat> the final answer is no. I feel like you need to let them know ASAP. Don't wait until you show up for the job. Just send them a, hey, by the way, um, this is, I need this off. Something unexpected came up, whatever it is. Um, However, you're comfortable stating it. I feel like it's it, it will be a problem if you wait until the day you walk in. It will not be problematic okay. if you do it now. Because they may have, like those first two weeks, what I'm hearing is the first week or two weeks at any company or whatever, there are certain protocols and things that you go through um, that they have set up for you. <clears throat> so what I'm feeling like is you need to reach out to HR or whomever um, and let them know immediately, oh, by the way, um, you know, prior to accepting the position, I, I had this planned. I had something planned and now I was so excited to get the position, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much for understanding. Um, I don't feel like it'll be a problem if you handle it that way. If you show up first day or second day and say, hey, by the way, I need this time off in a couple of days, that's going to be problematic, especially since this is something you already know about. Let them know now. Let them know now. It's it's first. It's okay. you know it's the decent thing to do. But second, that gives them time to uh, kind of prepare everything. Okay, love. Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. I hope okay. you have. An, Thank you so you, much. You are so so welcome. Thank you. I want to say hello to Heather and Lolly and Modi. I think I said hi to Modi. Um, and I'm going to go to the very next caller who is 586. 586, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Sherelle, Michigan. I would like a connection with the other side. My grandmother, Lele. How are you? I'm good. Okay, so the way you said your name and where you're calling from, I thought at first that was like the city and state. Sherelle, Michigan. <laughs> not, I'm not trying to, you don't have an accent. I don't know why it came out that way for me, but um, so Sherelle, yeah. hi, how are you? I, If you've never listened to the show before, I'm a bit of a dork and I apologize for for that. Um Okay, so your, no, you're fine. your grandma is here. You have 
two women and a man here. One woman is hey. full. She is full. She is. Yeah, that's my grandmother. Thank you. And the other she's woman. She's a tall, churchy woman. Oh, yeah. And she is the one, right? <laughs> like, I literally scooched myself up and moved over because she is, like, right here. <laughs> like, right here. <laughs> like, I, I'm like, okay, let me, let me give you some room. Let me give you some room. Um, I am so up against the arm of my couch right now, giving her room because she um, she is like on it, on it like a sonnet. Um, and then right behind her on her right is a very thin um, older woman who at the her. OK, and then on her on her left is an older man, a more mature man who is also very thin. Now, when I see people who are older and they're very thin, this means at the end of their life, they probably lost a lot of weight, like we do sometimes. And so this man and woman yeah. are on either side of her. Whoever these people are to you, you're going to know who they are to you. Um, these could be her parents, aunts, uncles of yours, or somebody that you know that I don't know, but both of them were very th thin, and they're all three here. Okay, they're all three here. Are you? Do well, her you mom know? is still. I'm sorry, love. Her mom is still living. I, I'm sorry. But her mom is still living, which is my great grand. Okay, so do you know who these this cup these two people are? This other other this woman who's thin in this. <laughs> It's probably my brother or great grandfather. Okay, so here, here's what I'm gonna say. Uh, okay, you know your family. Holy, every okay. Oh, your family is uh, like I feel like uh, when you said my brother, he showed up here, which if you're not watching is over my left shoulder, behind me on my left shoulder. So you're. Mm -hmm. they're here they're here so we're not going to say any more people because i already see so many and we're just going to get rolling with with whatever they want to tell you and right away right away yeah. your grandma is like smacking her hands and singing a hymn a gospel and i do not know the words and i'm sorry <laughs> the only gospel <laughs> Please do not come at me. I'm making a joke here. The only gospel I know is Jesus walks with by, I think it's like, oh, it's that song. Jesus walks. It's it's actually a hip hop song. Okay, folks, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm joking, kind of. Um, so what I'm going to say to you is that they are all here and, um, your grandma, of course, one of the things she is saying is you need to get back into the name. You need to get back into the name. You need to get back into the name. Now, I am going to say something to you. She's not saying you need to get back into the church. She's not saying you need to get back into the what you need to get back into the name, which is to me, to you, this is going to mean what it's meaning. But to her, to to me, that would mean like you need to like put his name on it. That's what I'm hearing. Put his name on it. Everything you're doing, everything you're wanting, put his name on it. And I think, I think you and I can figure out what that means, Is right? That who name on it? God's name, Jesus, God. Put their name on it. Put their oh. name on it. You need to get back into the name. You need to put his name on it. So what? However, that to me, if that were understanding. <clears throat> her energy a little, feeling her energy, I would say that means you need to just, whatever you're doing, you need to, like, I don't want to say pray on it, but like, hey, in, hey, God, good looking out. Let's go. Let's do this. However, that works for you, okay? Um, a little more faith, a little less fear is what she's saying. Now, what I'm going to say next um, from from all of them collectively is that there are some things coming in for you and you are going to have to make some choices and not all of these choices are going to be easy. 
2023 is not going to be a year of let it slide or let it roll for you. Yes. It, right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Need to cut you off. Because right now, I'm currently pregnant. I'm due any day now. So Ooh. this will be a great start for a new year for me. And my baby is coming any time now. So I'm a little nervous about that. I am telling you what they. Okay. I want. Thank you for sharing that, and thank you for letting me know. I am going to tell you, and maybe that's what they're saying when they say you need to put his name on it. Maybe it's something with your baby's name. Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to go that far. I'm just going to give the exact message. You give it the meaning that oh, fits for you, okay? You give it the meaning that fits okay, go ahead. for you. Um. They want you to know that 2023 is going to be a year of a lot of decision making and really difficult decision making. Maybe in the past you did you could just like mm. let things slide and let them roll, but now you have a lot more at stake. You can't you can't just be and this is the way they're saying it, not me. You can't just be letting things go now. You have to be serious and you're going to have to make a lot of uh, challenging choices, but you need to make the choice. Mm. Like, you know what? This is your grandma, not me. So please, I know when I channel it, it, it some people don't know. Mm. They're like, what's coming from you? And what's coming? It's all coming from them. Okay. You know what? And this again, your grandma, your brother, your peeps um, that have got me pretty much surrounded in this moment. Um, you're dealing with full grown people. And they're, they're full grown people. You're dealing with full grown people. You don't need to worry about them over you and your situation. You put you first. You work on you okay. first. You do not worry about, oh, what about that person? I don't want to hurt this person. I don't want, well, if, if, if they were not putting themselves in a position to get hurt, you mm -hmm. wouldn't be putting yourself in a position to have to make that choice. You have to only focus on you right now and getting you to where you okay. need to be. And do not, do not, I mean, do not put somebody who is outside of your house over somebody who is inside of your house. And do not let, oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry I have to say it this way, so everybody just hold your teats. Uh, do not let a roach in your house because it will multiply and take over, and you know what she's talking about. Yes. I'm sorry. She is not playing with you. She is not playing with you at all not at all and then she is saying uh -huh. that is that might be one of the very difficult decisions that you have to make this year is like who you're going to let in and who you're going to do for um because at the end of the day you can't be running around doing for everybody else and then you have nobody there with you from now on it has to be equal give and take and you have to be in this space where you know, again, she's going back to these are full grown adults. They can do for themselves. If they can't do from themselves, don't you think it's time for them to learn? Don't you like yeah. if, if they can't do for themselves, if they have to come to you, well, let them learn. Let them learn. This is a year of them learning. And you're going to have to make some really difficult choices of just a lot of choices this year that you would not have made in other years, but you're in, um, you, but, but things are not going to be the same. Things are not going to be the same after this, you know, you're, no. you have to move if you, okay. So if you want your child to be, who you want your child to be, that's who you have to be. And those are the people you have to let in your child's life because your children don't learn what you tell them. They live what they, they learn what they live. So if you're telling, you know, if you want your child to be extremely successful and, 
educated and or you know whatever it is a business entrepreneur whatever you have to bring those people in your life because it, those five first five years yeah. even when we think children it's it, and they're saying all the way up to age seven or eight now those first you know let's just say up to eight for the sake of this children are a sponge they have not created their own thing so everything they see and especially feel and hear they're taking it in and it stays with them so especially in these first times you know be steady in that place um doing or giving exactly what you want that future to look like for your and don't don't worry about other people's feelings they're not your responsibility that's not your problem that's not your responsibility okay love okay thank you because and i feel like and i was gonna let this go but then she said no and i feel like there are a couple of people in your life that are going to guilt you. They're really going to try to guilt you. They're going to try to use some sort of manipulation. They're going to try to use some sort of coercion. They're going to try to make you feel badly about choosing you, about doing for you, about how can you not be here for uh -huh. me. And you know what? She, and she is saying, you just got to put on your big girl pants and say, no, you can't worry about who likes right. you anymore. Right. You just can't. Um, so what I'm going to tell you is recognize manipulation right away. And if you feel like you're okay. doing something be because somebody else wants you to do it, stop doing it. Stop doing it. That that we we don't play that game anymore. We, we, you know what? You're again. She is saying right. this again. Oh, preach! She is saying again. They are full grown people. Anything they want or anything they want done, they can get it done themselves, or they can do it themselves. They can whatever. So please know that. And please move forward in that way. Don't um, don't fall for manipulation yeah. and move forward. Like um, that, uh, she's there's a song she's singing. I'm do uh, that's so funny. I was trying to grasp onto the words, and it's such a. I don't even think you'll know this song. I don't even know, but it's like I'm doing it all for my baby. So it, that's the, the theme of uh, where you're going with this year and you. Um, and that's what she wants you to know. And uh, thank I, you. you are so welcome. And I hope this was really helpful for you. And they're all sending you love. They're all letting you know they're going to be helping you through this next um, couple years. Uh, they're, they're always going to be with you, but they're always going to be um, helping you. And um, congratulations on the baby. Don't be afraid. Uh, thank you. It's, it's going to be beautiful, okay? It's just going to be beautiful. And I want to thank everybody so much for uh, joining me here today. Um, and I, I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you. Remember, you are loved. I'm going to do a clearing to clear. Um, Self-love. We have unconditional self-love. I get a no. Oh, let's clear that to a yes. I'm sorry I waited till the end of the show to do the clearing. I completely spaced in the beginning of the show. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you.